All right, Screams in the Park, Rosemont, merged with Disturbia this year. Was that disturbing to you, Laura, or not? At first, I thought it was going to be. I was a little worried because even before I got there, because we've been to Screams in the Park uh, two years, you know, last two years, loved it. I mean, it's a great haunt. Disturbia, we went to three years ago, didn't like it at all. So, yes, I was afraid of being a little disturbed, you know, at the thought of them being together and not knowing what, you know, what would happen to Screams in the Park. But, much to my surprise, well, it wasn't really a surprise, but I was happy. I mean, it actually actually was really good. It had more screams in the park to it than Disturbia, which is a good thing. And they still had the fantastic sets. Very well done. I mean, when you walk and you really feel like you're in these areas. I mean, they just, they had a lot of attention to detail. And I still, I really enjoyed it again. So uh, this year, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give it a five again, just because I really love screams in the park. And the last, you know, this is the third year I've been to it. So five chainsaws for me. And, Michael, your first visit to Screams in the Park, what would you think? Excellent sets. There's plenty of actors. There's a few uh, really genuine scares in there. Um, the only thing I didn't like is there's a maze, which is, you know, shot with all strobe lights. So if it's you're sensitive to strobes, part. it could be fatiguing real quick. And it's really not that interesting in there. <laughs> That's the Disturbia part. Yeah. That was from what we remember from Disturbia. And there's one too many of those, you know, those plastic tube things you have to push yourself through. Ah, uh, yes. Yeah, there's one too many of those. There's three of them. One is okay. Yeah, one is okay. So if you're yeah, if you're a little bit claustrophobic, you're not going to like it. And if if they're sending people through, if, if it's a big group, because it wasn't real packed, but, you know, those tend to jam up. So if there's three of them, that's going to be, you know, a problem. So I give it four and a half. It was a good length. Okay. I liked it. Okay, Screams in the Park. I, like Laura, was very concerned that it had merged with Disturbia, which is one of our all-time worst haunts. We really didn't like it at all. We hated it so much we never went back, and we always give haunts another chance. Well, I don't want to digress, but just suffice it to say that it was more Screams in the Park and much less Disturbia. There was one section that was Disturbia, and that was this giant section with strobe lights and wire cages and people yelling at you as you're walking through this cage maze with strobes. That's what we remember from Disturbia, and it's there in the middle of Screams in the Park, but most of it's Screams in the Park. Every year when we go there, Screams in the Park is known for its set design. Huge, massive, expansive sets. The same thing this year. Giant castle sort of crypt entrances. Great crypt scene with really full-size stone sarcophagi in there. A nice cannibal shack. An interior of an old mansion with lightning effects on the outside, even though you're inside a parking lot. Screams in the Park is actually in a parking lot, in a parking garage. Fantastic effects. One of my favorite things that I like about it is that they put real dirt down on the floor. Real dirt and they have real trees. And you're in a parking garage, so you know it's concrete, but you're actually walking on dirt. It's great. It's pretty good length. It's about 16, 17 minutes long. And it's good when there's nobody around because the patron flow is great. You can really experience the sets and the actors are good too. So I'm going to give it a 5. I will say one thing that it's starting to push the limit of priciness because they're up to $25 this year, and if they keep raising the price anymore, they really need to raise the length a little bit on there because if the length has stayed the same and the price has gone up. So I'm just going to give it a five for this year again, though. 